In Matthew 24, verses 37 through 39, Jesus takes a look at how the days of Noah would be a picture of how things would be at the end of time. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days the coming of the Son of Man. He speaks of how they were carrying on their daily activities, uh, marrying and giving in marriage, eating and drinking, and, and they weren't paying attention, and they didn't know that the flood was going to come, despite 120 years of preaching. So shall it be, he says, in the, day, in the coming of the Son of Man. History is repeating itself. I'm sure the Lord looks down from heaven now. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the Son of Man. And we're seeing that in the world today, that the violence in the land, the selfishness, the self-worship that's out there. And I, I think it just is breaking the heart of God. Perhaps the single most important practical lesson to try and find the present day application for is what does it mean to get on the ark? <laughs> we are living in the judgment hour. We're living in a final twilight in the world's history where we're standing on the threshold of eternity and people need to realize these are awesome times, more so than any other time in history because the sun is really going down on the world's probation and now is the time when people need to prepare to meet their God. What happened before the flood is going to happen again right before the second coming of Christ. Those who don't have a perspective, who aren't looking at the scriptural message, they'll go on just as they, as they do with the circumstances of life, and they won't see the end coming. I'm Jeff Rich, Director of Lehman Ministries. What you're about to witness will be unlike anything that you've ever seen before. Not only are we going to investigate the flood story, but we'll trace the roots of evolution and show how it's influenced Western society. And most importantly, we'll take a look at how the story of Noah helps explain the pages of Bible prophecy. This is the story of Noah and the flood like you've never seen before. Today many Christians are anticipating the future coming of Christ and they're wondering what's in store for planet Earth. They'd do well if they went back and they read a story of Noah and the Flood because within that epic story of the Bible, there's more of the future revealed to us than many know. In fact, the evidences are all around us. God is love. His nature, His law, is love. It ever has been, it ever will be. Every part of creation, from the tiniest insect that floats in the sunbeams to vast galaxies in the far reaches of space,